so one of those hidden gems that you find in Ecuador. All these little cafeteria places that you can come to right here. They got all kind of food, everything under the sun, anything you want. Local, traditional. I mean, all the good stuff. And a lot of them like do the same thing, you know? Um, but the prices are really good. You can find stuff here for $1.50, $2, $3. And then of course, you can find uh, bigger meals like the one I had right here, I can show you. And that was actually some fried corvina, and papas, and arroz, rice, and potatoes. And that one was actually like $6. But I mean, you know, there's some meals over here, $2 and $3. And then you get the other ones, the bigger meals, $6.25 and $7. Obviously there's shakes and fruit drinks and anything else and some toys. If you want some toys. You could also come here and get like uh, meat. I was going to say fresh meats, but I don't know how fresh. I mean fresh enough, I'm sure. I'm not trying to kill you or anything. So you got fresh whole meats and pig and carne and everything. and Oops. So anything you want there's some vegetables over here pretty much everything you need but uh, it was a really good meal my shake here was like a dollar 25 and this is like right down the road from my hostel and this is like just a, like a surprise someone had told me about it before and uh told me kind of the direction it was in i, didn't, I wasn't exactly sure where but i just happened to come upon it Mm, lucky I did. So I'll probably come here later tonight and have some dinner. Oh, here comes something. Hey, oh, I don't. And uh, yeah, I'll come over here eat some cheap food. Try to get some good uh, ensaboyado. It's like a seafood soup. Pretty famous here. See, I mean, it's huge. It goes all over. I think I see some lotions and things you can get down there as well. And there's not much of an entrance. I mean, yeah, there's doors and stuff like that, but there's not really like big signs to tell you what's up. So if you, you know, are a traveler and you're just kind of hanging out, Tupperware, then you probably wouldn't know about this unless someone told you about it. So I just want to give you a little sneak peek of what's going on. See, here's the outside. There's like really no signs or anything. You just kind of hear stuff going on inside. And that's what happened. I just heard people talking and laughing and stuff happening so I went in and I got lucky all right look at this beautiful place man all these old historic architecture all right I'm gonna head back to the hostel right now do some more video editing I relax a little bit I walked all over the place yesterday so I'm definitely feeling it in my legs I got a good seven hours of sleep last night didn't wake up once oh I'm starting to feel a few sprinkles again it's usually in the afternoon and it, rains a little bit if it does but the weather's been pretty nice all day good jump down here all right another good day in quito we leave tomorrow for cusco and then i do that peru thing for a little while not exactly sure how long but i know i'll be machu picchu on the 21st the rest of it i'll figure out until then so i have you know nine or so days take care of some things again from Quito drinking my strawberry banana shake this is your friendly day man saying be good in the world be good to yourself travel live now all right peace